there. Hello everyone and welcome to the first instalment of the Mini Beast series. We're going to be making lots of different insect and mini beast creations and arts and crafts so let's get started. So the first thing we are going to make is a bee paperweight or garden ornament and all you're going to need is a flat stone like this. You can find one in your garden or when you're going for your walk see if you can find one around some white paint that we're going to paint the whole pebble and then obviously a B is yellow and black so we're going to need some yellow and black paint. Okay so I painted the stone white and that's because it's a dark coloured stone so the paints wouldn't show up properly on it if I didn't do a base layer of white but now that's done and that's all dry I'm going to paint the whole thing yellow. Okay cool so I have finished a couple of layers of yellow paint and now I'm going to take a brush like this, a paintbrush with a straight edge. You don't have to have one specifically with a straight edge, we just have to be a bit more careful. And I'm going to dip into some black paint and I'm going to leave a little bit of space here at the front before I start my first stripe. Going as straight as I can, like so, and I'll do a few more layers and then I'll do my stripes going down. So we are all done, I've done his black stripes and all I've done here is taken some black paint and drawn a little smile and then I took a white piece of paint, just blobbed it on there and then put a little bit of sharpie in there or you could use a googly eye, you could draw one on but all that we have left to do now is pop his little wings on so I just cut out a teardrop shape out of some paper so all I'm going to do is put a little bit of Pritt stick or PVA I just find this one bonds better to the paint. Put a little bit of PVA on there and then stick it on about there, about his middle there. And there we go. We have our finished little paperweight or garden ornament is our little bee. Right, hello there guys. On to the next one. We are going to be doing some hand painting, so painting our hands, and we're going to be making the hungry caterpillar. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is his head. Now I have huge hands, so I need a huge piece of paper, but you guys might be able to fit yours onto an A4 piece. Um, so we are going to need some red paint and we're just gonna go ahead and paint the whole of our palm red. Okay, cause we've just done the head, I am now going to take some black paint and paint my pointy finger and my ring finger. Okay, so just those two. I'm gonna connect them to the red part here and I'm going to paint them. And then, here we go. I'm going to press it on my paper. Ah! Here we go. So I'm pressing it hard and then when I lift it up, I should have a handprint head. So you want to do this very slowly. Hold down the paper and lift upwards. <gasps> <laughs> We've got his head. Right, I now have clean hands, that's very important, and we are going to start doing his body now. So, taking the palm of my hand again, I'm going to paint it all green. Just like him, and this is so fun. I love it. And then we are going to paint the bottom four fingers blue. Okay, it's really important that you get a thick layer of paint on there, and I'm going to come in from this side now. So I'm going to turn my hand over. I'm going to pop it here so it's close to his head. I'm so nervous, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I'm going to press down my fingers, like that, these four here. And then I'm going to slowly lift up, as straight as I can. Yay, he's got body and legs. And I'm going to repeat that another three times down there. Okay, so because I've got big hands, what I'm going to do now is fill in these gaps with some paint very lightly because obviously you want to keep that handprint shape, but just, oh, just got some paint on the paintbrush. Just fill them in a little bit like that because I don't remember him having holes in his body, but I remember there being holes in the book as he ate through all the different pieces of food. And then I'm going to do the same to his head. Okay, so that's all done. I've just filled in some of the gaps. Sorry, the sun's come out, so it's looking a little bit skewy. 
all I've done is drawn two big circles here and then a smiley face. So I'm going to put some white acrylic or just white paint in these big circles, paint them white so then when I put the yellow one for his eyes it doesn't mix with the red so it stands out a bit more. So with a pencil I've just marked out where his pupils are going to go and they're going to be the same colour green as his body. So that is a very hungry caterpillar complete. All I did was add in the very hungry caterpillar and I will do another video on how to do calligraphy or write in that style. So that is him done and there is our bee <laughs> that we made. So that is the first part of our Beast Creator series done. So send them in to me, hashtag Martha's Art Club, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.